Hi, my name is Gabe and I was the head builder. My name is Noah and I was the head programmer. We are the RoboDocs. The purpose of our robot is to do a long distance surgery. We could set it up in places such as Antarctica and military camps. Or if anyone anywhere were to need a specialized surgery, but there was no one nearby to perform it, they could use our robot. This year we learned and used a new coding language called LabVIEW, whereas past years we used NXCG. This allowed us to include some open source code for some of the higher level math in our Delta robot. It also allowed us to create a graphical user interface for the surgeon. We used Lego Mindstorms for building our Delta robot and used a device called the Novit Falcon for the surgeon controller. For our presentation, we are using a robot to remove a brain tumor. Our robot is haptic. This means the surgeon can feel what the Delta robot feels. How this works is that when you move the Falcon, it takes its X, Y, and Z position and tells it to our Delta robot. Our robot then uses proportional control to get to the position it was told. It calculates an error between where it is and where it wants to be. And then it then multiplies this by the proportional gain, a variable that we set manually, and figures out how much force it needs to get to its desired position. If the robot can't get to its desired position, <coughs> the force builds up and it pushes back on the remote that the surgeon is using. Another thing we learned when making our project was that tumors are harder than the tissue surrounding it. Since our robot can feel things, we figured out that it can do surgery and find tumors at the same time. If the surgeon can't see the tumor very well, they can gently feel the area they are operating on. When the, they feel an area harder than the rest, they will know that is where the tumor is. When we were building the Delta robot, we ran into a problem. This was gear backlash. In order to solve this problem, we added rubber bands. Another problem we ran into is that the robot would st sometimes go unstable. We lost in this instability by creating a smoothing average. We will explain more about these problems and how we solve them at the end of our video. Our robot has the ability to help many people. It can do long distance surgeries and help save money. Specialized surgeons would not have to travel for it far and it would also minimize the risk of military surgeons getting injured while helping wounded soldiers. We will now do a demonstration of our robot finding and removing a brain tumor. So this is the Nova Falcon, it's the controller that we're using, and it controls this robot, which um, removes the brain tumor. This is our graphical user interface we used. It has some settings you can adjust at the beginning. also has an enable disable button and tumor detection. So, we're going to start. So right now the surgeon is feeling around to try to find the tumor. When he finds a tumor, it will show up on here saying possible tumor. So now found the tumor and is attempting to remove it. There will be an assistant there to grab the brain tumor and set it down. This is how we completed long distance surgery using our robot. This is Gear Backlash. As you can tell, we are not commanding it to move, yet it still is. To solve this, we added rubber bands to our robot to make it pull in one direction. There is no longer any Gear Backlash. This is the smoothing average. Um, when we ran into a problem, our robot would go unstable. So, this is an example of how it works. All these red lines are the forces we need for our robot. But then it would jerk up and down, and that would build up. So the blue line is um, an average of the numbers, which is the smoothing average, which we used for our new force. So this is the graphical user interface we have for the surgeon. This is a configuration, it's just some settings you can adjust at the beginning. It also has a tumor threshold, and that's when it detects the tumor. And this is the servo gripper, which is the claw that grabs the tumor. And then this can tell if it's in range. When there, when the robot um, feels a tumor, it will say possible tumor up here. And then this is the enable and disable button, which can basically turn on and off the robot without stopping the program. And um, as the robot is moving, it has a position chart, which shows the positions of um, each motor. 
And then it also has a forces chart right here, which shows the force of um, the motors. So this is our program. First off, it's basically starting and homing our Falcon. And then up here, it takes the position of the Falcon and maps it to the, the XYZ of our robot. And then when it goes through when it goes through here, it's converting the position to force. Afterwards, it goes through the smoothing averages, and out comes the force that is sent back to the Falcon from our robot. This is the parallel loop that opens and closes the claw. So, as you can see, when I move the Falcon, our robot, our Delta robot, also moves. And when I press this button, on the falcon, you can see that the claw closes. Also, when I press down, you can see that you can feel the haptic feedback as I try and remove the brain tumor.